When I was a professor of acoustics, I, I was never fond of modeling programs. And quite frankly, when um, Mike invited me to join the Danley family, and one of my first uh, assignments was to work on DDT with a programmer, I was like, wow, really? A modeling program? Because I didn't quite fully grasp why a loudspeaker company would want a modeling program. I've actively used E since the DOS days and, and Ulysses and CAD Acoustics and, and I knew the, the limitations of them. And one of them was, at that time, I couldn't find anything that would allow me to, to show accurately subwoofer interaction because they, they basically stopped at 100 hertz. About a year and a half ago, Sebastian, who's the programmer, and I began to realize that DDT had matured and that if we wanted to do some new things, we were going to have to start over. And so we started down that path of initially creating what we thought was going to be DDT 2.0, but we realized this is a completely new thing. This is a new program. And so we called it Direct. It's Direct because it focuses on what does the sound do when it leaves the loudspeaker? How does that interact with the, the direct field? Or how does it interact with the audience? We dreamed big. We said, well, what could we do? What would the ideal program look like? What would it have to do? It needed to be fast. It needed to be adaptable, that, that the user could create his or her own sort of work environment. It needed to have a really powerful graphics engine. So the graphics it produced had to look really good. It had to be accurate. It had to use good data. It had to, we had to make sure that the math was right. When, when Doug and Sebastian got together, it really made uh, some, to use a bad cliche, it, it made some magic, you know. Sebastian uh, lives in Chile, and he's the guy that wrote the code that is direct. I can't tell you how many times I've been blown away by uh, the code that comes back from, <laughs> from Chile and says, here, look at this. Oh, that's just amazing. That's so much better than the way I thought of doing it. My whole life is nothing but trying to surround myself with people who are smarter than me and make, this, and make something bigger than me. It is absolutely the most gorgeous rendering program that's out there. And the fact that I can render 100 loudspeakers in seconds and then take the entire 3D model and rotate it and everything stays rendered, there is no competition that does that. I can take it and I can draw it and do it all in, in a Mac program and send it to you and you got a PC and you open it up and it opens. It's not a problem. There's a, a reporting side to, to direct that's, that's incredible. You don't have to necessarily do all of these copy, paste a clipboard, go over into Word, uh, load it up, type it all in. We're making the job of the person who's designing the system, whether that's a consultant or a design builder, we're making his life much more efficient. All of that in this incredible package that's free. I mean, it's, 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 as the, it's, it's like the biggest no-brainer of all time. Why would you not take this incredibly powerful tool and use it? And I began to see that, wow, yeah, if we're gonna be able to portray our product uh, in an honest light and let people make choices uh, about using our product, then, yeah, modeling is the only way to do that. Mm -hmm.